So I'm only working with your definition. Exactly. So you're, you're, I'm using your definition, but by using your definition, I disprove Islam. Because if your definition is correct, then that means there's more than 72 sects, which means that Muhammad made a false prophecy. I do not worship what you worship. Yeah, what? That, that is the description of a thing, not a person. If it's a, if it's a person, you say who? If the Quran is meant to be this, um, this beautiful book, then it describes God catastrophically. And what we worship is not what you worship. So Allah is describing himself as a thing. Does Christianity give um, other religions the power to keep their religion and their beliefs? As equals, you know. So you, you're Christian. Yes. Does the the Bible or the teachings of Jesus allow me to have my own religion and my own? Beliefs? Yes. And I'll yes. give you. Yes, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll answer. Yeah. And the freedom of my own beliefs as well. Sure. Sure. Did you get the question? Yeah. I got the okay. Question. Go on. Yeah, you don't have to pick so in answer to the question, in answer to the question, in a Christian, in, say we lived in a Christian society governed by Christian politic, you would be allowed to keep your faith. Because there's nothing inherent to the Christian teaching that says that I have to stop you from having your own beliefs. Now, let's be clear. There's been, a there's been times when Christians have stopped people from having their own beliefs. I can't deny that. that I, I believe that that was a failure of Christian discipleship. However, however, the Christian faith has also plenty of examples in its history when, when Muslims were allowed to keep their own faith. Let me give you the best example. The Crusades, when Christians liberated the Holy Land from Islamic occupation, they ended up being the rulers of lots of Muslims. But they didn't, they didn't force those Muslims to become Christian. Nor did they persecute the Muslims in the same way that Islam prescribes the persecution of Christians. Let me give you another example. When Christianity converted the Roman Empire, we, we for, for hundreds of years, we lived side by side with pagans. Pagans still had their temples. The, re, the very word pagan comes from country folk, paganus. It means Latin, it's Latin, Latin for, for, for country people, because the country people were still worshipping the old gods. Christians allow pagans to have their own beliefs. Islam commands what? The killing of pagans. They're not, they're not Ali Malkitab. They're not Ali Malkitab. Just one, one thing, yeah? I know maybe, I'll, I guess, yeah, you could, you could be representing most of the guys here behind the camera. Am I right or wrong? I have no I idea. Represent most of you? No, no, I, 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 no. I just met you today. No, ask Christian, but I'm okay. just saying, ask Philippe. You're on the, sort of the same path, yes? Does he represent oh, you guys here? Since I'm a Christian. He's our brother. Okay, but yeah. I'm saying, do you represent all of Christianity? Like all of the belief of Christianity. You, I, in my opinion, I don't believe that because I believe you could differ with another Christian or another Christian could explain some points better than you. So do you know what I'm saying? Maybe all of you guys together could make one. Let, let me ask you this question. I'm, I'm, I'm taking I, I a guess. I just want to come up to... Go on. Sorry, sorry yeah, go on. this, yeah? I just want to come up to to say that Ali Dawa or any other person or even myself, we do not represent the whole religion or the community. So if Ali Dawa did call for the uh, killing of Christians, then I believe and I condemn that 100 billion percent. So you condemn Ali Dawa? Of, if he did say that, Not definitely. Okay, good for, anyone, good for you, good for you, good for you. Good for you. So, so thank you, thank you. I want to I want to point something out. Thank you, brother. We live in that country, I, I, we thank you. I, I want to I want to applaud this brother. That's not Islam, bro. That's not Islam. One, one second. Thank you. I want to I want to applaud this brother. I want to applaud this brother because I want to I want to applaud you because just just as I said, just as I said, just as I said, look, you see, you see, he he's he's disagreeing. This is why I have to shout because of this, because of examples like this. So let me let me just say, I want to say because this is a perfect example of what I was trying to explain to the sister earlier. Yeah. So so brother, are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Okay, I'll talk to the camera. I'll talk to anyone who's listening. So this is a perfect example. While these two argue, this is a perfect example of what I was trying to explain to the sister. We Christians come and we challenge Muslims about the teachings of Muhammad. And then we make a distinction between which Muslims follow the example of Muhammad and which ones don't. 
This brother condemns Ali Dawa, who called for the execution of Christians who left Islam. I applaud him for it. This man is better than Ali Dawa, but he's also better than Muhammad. Because Muhammad is the one that called for the execution of those that leave Islam. And so, this man is better than both Muhammad the Prophet and Ali Dawa. I support this man. But what I condemn, 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 what I condemn is the fact, is the fact that, 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 that Ali Dawa calls for the execution of Christians under, under the teachings of Islam. And this sister, who unfortunately has made herself the, the useful representative of the Muslims, has supported Ali Dawa in that. So let me ask you this question, brother, let me ask you this question. In Islam, in Islam, we know as a Christian that I have the opportunity to pay the jizya in an Islamic state. So I can pay for my security. A Jew can pay for their security. What are the options in Islamic law for pagans? So, so no, no, my question is, according to Islamic law, what are the options available for pagans? Okay, because no, no, the Islamic law has put all into you, one conclusion. Yeah, the way I started the conversation with you is yeah. I asked you, um, you, don't believe you know, does the Christians give the power to yeah, others to, to you keep their religion? Yes. My bro, yeah, this, 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 guy, this, guy, this guy comes and interrupts every week. The way I started that, I said that because in the Quran it says, yeah, O you who oh, you you disbelieve, yep. we do not believe in yeah, what you believe in. Yeah. Neither do you believe in what we believe in. Yeah. So you can have your belief and we can have our belief. Doesn't it, doesn't it also say we don't worship what you worship and you worship what we worship? No, no, no. We don't worship what you worship. Neither do you worship what we worship. We can keep your religion and we keep ours. So that gives everyone the freedom to keep their own religion. We can keep our own religion. As long as we don't, you know, like from what I know, is that if a non-believer comes to Islamic country, for example, tries to change the rules or tries to bring, you know, tries to bring, you know, like killings or something bad, then that's the time when I believe execution is bad. Right. So, so the point is, the point, the point that I'm saying to you in, in, in Islamic Sharia law, Look, we can have a proper yes, conversation yes, if you want. Of course, would suppose, you like a proper conversation? You the would you like a timed conversation? Okay. He's just up, would you like to have a proper conversation? Like, like, like a timed conversation yeah, man, where you yeah, get to speak, yeah, I get to speak. Yeah, yeah. Can I just finish my conversation with him and then we talk? Yeah, but you need to be respectful if you talk to me, man. Yeah, well, that, that means that you've now got to be respectful and let us finish our conversation. Don't repeat what I say back to me. Make me. Yeah? What do you mean? Cool. You ask me something, yeah? I, I'm asking you. you. Just turn around and I'm, just ask asking, you I'm just asking you to be polite. Say what you want. What do you mean be polite? Okay. So, you talk about so, my prophet and you say be polite. You don't yes. Want to be polite. And? Bro, you need to and? respect what you say, yeah? I, I, have, I have no I'm respect for your right prophet. Now, bro. I have I'm no respect you for your prophet. Muslim I have no respect for your prophet. Right here, I have no yeah? respect for your every prophet. Human being Notice the only, only the Muslims are agreeing. You have no respect. Only, only the you Muslims are agreeing. I have no respect you have of no Muhammad. Self-respect. Yeah, I have no the respect of Muhammad. Respect is I have no of respect. You do so, not understand. So, so coming back to our conversation, the the, the point the, the point that I'm making, the point that I'm making, is that in a court, from what I understand of Sharia law, is that it just gets made up. Now it gets made up by scholars. This scholar gives this opinion. That scholar gives that opinion. That scholar gives that opinion. But but that means that this idea that Islam is divine guidance is nonsense. Because, one second, if, if Islam is simply just the legal opinion of this person and the legal opinion of that person, then that means, then that, means that it's got nothing to do with divine guidance and everything to do with what men think. Okay, sh shall I tell you something? So, let's say, for example, that I was a Christian, born Christian. Let's say, for example, yeah? What were you? No, 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 I'm not. Right. Okay. For example, because I, I've lived here, I can, I've got loads of Christian friends, I understand the view and the media, especially, you know, after ISIS and everything, things became more clearer, you know? So, let's say, for example, I was born Christian, in, a, in this country, and then suddenly I start seeing the news starting from 9-11, going to the news,
So the first thing that I would think is that all Muslims are terrorists when I see what's going on on the media, ISIS, Al Qaeda, all of this. So you can have a very bad look on them. And when you come deeper into Islam and open books, you see that extremism is actually a belief. So we actually have books that teach us killing of people, innocent people. You know, even Muslims themselves, and including you know, and, and there is a lot of um, sheikhs that came up and they actually said, you know, we call for the execution of these people and these people. It's, it's very wrong, but all the lineage of those books comes from a specific scholar. Yes, that's my point, bro. This is, this, is, this is one of the reasons why I reject Islam. This is one of the reasons why I reject Islam. Can I ask, can I, can I ask you a question? Because you asked me a, a question about Christianity. Uh, I, I, I've got to keep my eye on these two because I think there's going to be a fight if these two keep going. Bro! Yeah. Yeah. Keep it cheerful, Bloodfire. Keep it cheerful. So, bro, what, what I'm saying to you is that as, as Christians, what, what I would suggest to you is that, that you need to do a genuine inquiry about Christianity. Like a real Christian. No, no offense, no offense. With, with respect, I'm skeptical. Great. Old Testament. I literally, I've read it and I believe in it, a lot of the verses in the Bible as well. But what I don't believe in is the Trinity. Yeah, my bro, brother, brother, one, one second. I, I, I would like to come to that. But I, I, I would ask you just to be honest and sincere. Yeah, because you've got nothing to lose or to gain by this answer. But have you actually sat down and really read the New Testament? I have. Right, you've, okay, fair enough, if, if that's your claim. Oh, got, got oh, Old Testament, not New Testament. So, so Christian, the, 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 the chief scripture of the, the, the Christian church is the New Testament. We accept the Old Testament, we use the Old Testament, it's perfectly good to read it. But you, you can't be acquainted with Christian beliefs until you read the New Testament. So you owe it to yourself. You, but what I'm trying yeah. to say is, yeah, that I believe in Jesus. You know, I believe in Jesus being a, a, a miracle of God, being a, a yep. you know, like yep. a, a lot of titles. But what I don't say is that Jesus is the Son of God, physically, or to say that Jesus is God. Right? Can because I can I correct you some something? Because what you what you've demonstrated to me is an error in the Quran, because the Quran um, says, how can God have a son when he has no consort? And you just said, I reject the idea of Jesus being God's physical son. Yes, now, so, so the thing is, we Christians don't make that claim. Yeah. So you're rejecting something that you think is Christianity that isn't Christianity. What, so one second, one second. You, you just said, I because you were speaking about what you disagreed with within Christianity. And you said that I reject the idea of the God, Jesus being the physical son of God. Christians never believe that. We never claim to believe that. We've never taught that. That's not what we believe. So if you're rejecting that because you think that's what Christianity teaches, then you're, re you're not rejecting Christianity. You're rejecting the Quran's error about Christianity. No, no, the, the Quran Co co one, co co one second, okay, because okay. I listened to you. One second, I listened to you. The Quran said, the Quran said, how can Allah have a son he has no consort? Christians don't believe that the son of the father is through some physical union. We believe that the father and the son have eternally existed as father and son. There was never a point in time when they became father and son. Jesus existed before his existence. Before his physical existence. He, and, and has always been from eternity past. There was never a point at which that mo that began. But this is why I don't get, yeah? Yeah. Because that he's mentioned in the Quran that God is contradicting or we are contradicting what God said. Let's say, yeah? Yeah. In the Bible it says, yeah, that Jesus, he took it further. He fell on his face praying to his Lord. Yeah. So when when you have a God like what you guys call Jesus God, yeah. praying to God and asking him for, for, for specific things right. in his prayer, yeah. why does a God need to worship God? Okay, so let me let me address that point. But what I want to point out to you yeah. is that you raised a point about the physical union um, create, creating a son, which I then said wasn't true and that that was an error of the Quran and then rather than delve deeper into what actually Christians believe what you've done is you've moved now to another separate argument that is not linked and, and this is what I'm trying to say to Muslims let me finish well this is what I'm trying to say to Muslims is that they, they have mistaken a script 
for study. You've imbibed a script about Christianity, demonstrated by the fact that you've moved from one argument to another that are not linked. No, are. One they second, are. they're not linked. Once, let me finish. Right. I, I will finish my point, yeah. and then you can talk. Okay, okay. Otherwise, if you start talking over me and I start talking over you, I eventually shout, and I will shout louder than you. And we know that, so let's not do that. Okay? So, so I'll, let me finish my point, and then I'll let you finish your point. So you, you've, you've moved from one argument to another, in a script that I promise you I've heard repeatedly. Okay. Now, let me address directly your question, this idea of Jesus bowing down to the Father. We Christians believe that the Father and the Son have always, from eternity past, been in communion with one another. So the Father has always spoke to the Son, the Son has always spoke to the Father. When the Son becomes flesh and takes onto himself a human nature, he doesn't become an atheist. He continues to be the Son of his Father, but now, as because of that human nature, he must do what humans must do. And humans must worship God. So he now worships the Father as a human being. He bows down. But one, one second, I just want to finish. I'm landing, literally landing. But also, I want to point out to you that if you actually do some serious study, you'll realize that you, even your script is wrong. Because the verse that you're quoting is from one gospel, the idea about Christ falling on his face. But if you look at other, where that same story is told in other gospels, it gives a different portrait, a different flavor to that event. So Christ is what got falling down, but he's not falling down in Islamic worship. That's not what's going on. He's falling down in Jewish worship, but to be out of the, 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 the gravity of what he's facing. It also talks about him kneeling as well, you know, so... It, yes, yes, yes. What does praying mean, sir? No, that's not what it means. No, honestly, that's not what praying means. So I'll tell you what praying means. It means to supplicate. That's what praying means. It means to ask someone for something. If I, if I ask you for a cup of tea, that's praying to you. I, I can ask you for a cup of tea, that's a supplication. So, so the, the thing is, Christ in his human nature must honor the Father. He must glorify the Father. Because all human beings must glorify the so Father. You're saying most people prayed because they were afraid of God. No, I haven't said that. Those words didn't even come out of my mouth. No, no, but I'm saying it does link like that because the way I see it is, yeah, you either pray to God because He's worthy of worship, you either pray to God because you need something of Him, you either pray to God because you're scared of hell, you don't want to go to hell. Can you see what I'm saying? There's different. The reason, the reason. Like businessman or, you know? the, the reason why we Christians worship God is because God is worthy of glory. We have to glorify God, because God is worthy of glory. He is our creator. He is the one who sustains us. He is the one who makes us. He, but, but more than just being our creator, he is also someone who has demonstrated his love for us in that he has given us adoption uh, to, be, to be his sons and daughters. So we as a Christian believe everything you believe as a Muslim, but we believe something that's more profound, richer, deeper, wider, have you read and greater. The Bible? Have you read the Bible in Arabic language? No, no, no. Never. Have you spoken to someone who's read it in that language? In Arabic? Yes, I, I know. I know Arab Christians, Arab Christians who read the Bible in Arabic. There's there's an Arab Christian who who comes to a Bible study that I run, and whenever we read from the Bible, he reads from Arabic. Okay. And when he comes to say God, what does he say? He says Allah. He says Allah. So yeah. you do believe that Allah is God? I have I have no problem with using the word Allah to refer to the Trinity. To the Trinity? Yeah. Okay, to the Trinity. I've got no problem using the word Allah to refer to the Trinity. Okay. But but let's be clear, Allah is not a name. No, it's an Allah, the yeah. God. I, I, yeah, the God, yeah, exactly. That's not a name. Yeah, you don't know the name of your God. He hasn't told you what his name is. No, but no, we know the name does, of our God. The name of our God is Yahweh. 99 names. Yeah, those are descriptions. What? Yeah, descriptions and names as well. Yeah. So what, what I'm saying to you, bro, is that, that you, need to, you need to think to yourself, I, I've imbibed a certain set of thoughts about Christianity. I've learned them from my, my culture, from my community, from people that I look up to. And, and you've got to actually take the time to investigate Christianity for yourself and to see, because I've, I've demonstrated two points, to see whether what you think or valid statements about Christianity are actually valid. Because, you know, Muslims make a big deal about the fact that they believe in one God. Well, doesn't Iblis believe in one God? I mean, doesn't the devil believe in one God? Do you think Shaitan 
thinks that there's multiple gods. He does, but he doesn't worship God. Exactly. So, so the point, the question about this big deal about, you know, we believe in one God. So what? So does the devil. The question is, do you follow God? Do you honor God? Do you glorify God in the way that you live? And as a Muslim, you can't do that. No, no, because honestly, yeah, this is what I believe, yeah? I believe that, you know, if you come up to me and you say to me, hey, are you Christian? I would say, yes, I am Christian. Are you Jewish? Yes, I am Jewish. Are you Muslim? Yes, I am Muslim. But then you make those terms meaningless. No, 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 they're not. Because I, I believe in Jesus, peace be upon him, as a prophet and as a human being, and I believe in his message. And I believe that I carry his original message. And, you know, based on just looking at back 1400 years ago to Islam, to Muslims, yeah, we can see Islam today split into 72 different sects. And that's us just going 1400 years ago. But if we go to 2000, let's say 20 years ago, back to Christianity, you can see already from Islam that the message, well, not the Quran, but the, the, the history and, and, and events will differ from different people. And I, think, I believe even in Christianity, you guys got 70 something sects as well. Can I, can, where are you from, bro? From Iraq. Iraq. Yeah. I've got a book for you. Um, so, um, I, 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 I want to give you this gift because it has been really lovely to speak to you. Um, let me let me just see if I've got it. Oh no! Don't say I didn't bring it. One second. Maybe it's on this side. Okay, so I have a book. This is about a bishop um, in Iran. Now we we both know that the Iraqi culture and the Iranian culture have a lot of overlap. Yeah. So culturally, there's a there, there's there's a lot that's very close about these two people because, well, they're not even really two people, they're really one people. Um, but I, I want to give you that because that is about um, a bishop who served in Iran, he served in the culture. Are, are you Sunni or Shia just out of interest? Uh, I'm Muslim. Muslim, fair enough. Yeah, so, like to, so my point to you is, you, my, 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 my point that I would, I, and I, I, please do read it, yeah, yeah, I will have a read of it. Definitely. You know, it's just a story about a person's life. Uh, it's about in, 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 a bishop in Iran. Who 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 looked you know who lived his Christianity in an Islamic country, okay. yeah. But my, my point to you is that um, you you made two claims. One that you believe you contain within yourself the original message of Jesus. Yes. I want to say to you that 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 that. Then let me finish. That that claim is completely false. It's completely false because you can't prove what you're saying. All you have are the claims of the Quran, and the Quran came too late. And the, the, the Injil that you say was there, you've got no evidence of. And there's no, and actually when you look at history, history actually sides with the Christians about what we claim about Jesus, which contradicts what you claim about Jesus. So that's the first one. Jesus died or, or Second not? point, second did, point. Did he, die, did he die or not? Just yeah, yes, he did, yes, he did. Second, second point, second point, second point, yeah. second point. You, you claim that Islam split into 73 sects. Actually, that's 72, 72 sects, that's false. No, no, one second. Okay. You, you go and list all the different sects of Islam, they equal more than 72. Muhammad made a prophecy that's false. Muhammad said that, my, that, Muhammad said that his Ummah will split into 72 sects. Well, that prophecy is proven false because Islam is divided into more than 72 groups. But I, I think there's over a thousand identifiable groups. That's surely impossible. Why is it? Very, very impossible. Well, it depends how we divide sect. Yeah. But I bet you that you can't give me a definition of sect that lands at, that then means you can divide the Islamic Ummah into 72. Well, a sect means that there is a person who has a lot of followers. He's yep. basically a scholar and has a lot of followers. Like Ali Dawa. No, no, Ali Dawa is not, is not a scholar. So, he, so it's a scholar? No, no Ali Dawa is a knowledgeable person, but he's not. Like he's Dr. Not. Yasakadi? Um, I mean, he's a scholar. No, no, there's a lot of scholars who have followers, yep. and, and even Ali Dawa has to go past those people. To, so let's let's use your definition. I'm accepting your definition. A scholar with a lot of followers equals a sect. Is that your definition? How many scholars do you think there are in the Islamic community worldwide? Well, right now, alive, there is none that people are following. No, 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 one second. It's not like this. You know? One second. Yeah, I mean, you can't make that statement. There are plenty of Muslims following scholars. <laughs> Sorry, you, you've just made a statement that I know is false. 
You've just said okay, so that Muslims don't follow scholars. Yes, they do. No, no, but what I'm saying is 72 different sects. Are you saying there's only 72 scholars in the entire Islamic world right now? Yes. No, 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 no. Not List scholars, them for me. Not scholars, sects. Yeah, sects. but your definition of a sect yeah. was a Muslim scholar yeah. who has a lot of followers. So I'm only working with your definition. Exactly. So you're, you're, I'm using your definition, but by using your definition, I disprove Islam. Because if your definition is correct, then that means there's more than 72 sects, which means that Muhammad made a false prophecy. Okay, so let me explain it um, better, yeah? For example, yeah? Um, you got, for example, um, Jafar al-Sadiq, yeah? He's one of the, you know, scholars and, 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 the, and the persons who, who, who write, he's, he's basically one of the disciples of the Prophet, yeah? So he wrote a lot of hadiths and none of the Sunni or Shia scholars could have written a hadith without going through his school. So it's like a school. Do you understand what I'm saying? So today there isn't someone who teaches a new school <coughs> to Islam. Today there isn't someone alive who doesn't take from the past. So Ali Dawa, does he follow himself now or does he still have teachers? Yeah, I agree, he's got teachers. Yes, so he has. But there's sect. more than 72 teachers. Of course, there is, but I'm saying. So that means there's sects, more than 72 not sects. sects. So in one sect, can you have a hundred scholars? You know, shall I tell. A thousand scholars on. in one sect? Is so, 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 so let me, let me, let me explain. What Muslims are doing is that they are faced with a contradiction. Muhammad makes a prophecy. My Ummah will split into 72 sects. Or every study of the Islamic community recognizes that there are more than 72 Islamic parties, groups, sects, I I identity movements. One second, one second. One second. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Go, go, go to Pew Research, right? And go and look at how, how the Islamic... No, I haven't got it now. Okay, go, go, but go and, I mean, I don't think it takes a lot of thought to recognize that there's lots of different Sunni groups, there's lots of different Shia groups, and that these groups disagree with one another. I think a better definition of a sect, here's my definition of a sect, a group of people that hold to a similar, uh, to, that hold to a, 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 a particular narrative that is in disagreement with people who hold a similar narrative. I think that is a better sociological definition of a sect. Now if you agree with my definition of a sect, that it is a group of people who hold to a set of beliefs that are in a narrative that is in disagreement with other people who believe in a very similar narrative, if you agree that my definition is more accurate than yours, then we can say with absolute certainty that there is more than a thousand sects of Islam, which means Muhammad is wrong. You haven't talked about, no, about today, today for example, yeah? You know, having sex in Islam means, yeah, that people believe, believe in different parts. So, for example, when he brings Sunnis, that's, a, that's like a, a very big branch of the sect. Then, it's got branches. So, Sunnis Which disagree with one another. Into, let's say around 12, let's say, for yeah. example, 12. Six. Yeah. Shia has them split around maybe 7 or 8. I think you I think you're dramatically reducing the new actual numbers there. I'm just saying for example, yeah? So you got the Malikis, they all pray the same. The Hanbalis, they all pray the same. The Shafis, they all But they give different Shariahs. Of course, because it's a different school of, of, of chain. Okay, so for example, yeah? You believe that you've got the right chain of narrations that came from Jesus to you. Yes? The right chain of narrations that, you know, came to you 100% without any mistakes or lies. Am I right or wrong? Otherwise, you wouldn't believe in the Bible to be, you know... So, so let, me, let me just address that point, because this is based on another myth that Muslims buy into. Which is that because Muslims need isnads for their hadiths, that we Christians need isnads for our New Testament. We don't need isnads for our New Testament because our, our New Testament was written close enough in the time. It's a first century document. It was written within decades of the events, not centuries of the events. The Christians knew who wrote their Gospels. The Christians knew who wrote the letters of the Apostles. Oh, that, that, that why, one, did, why did you say then, why did you advise me in the beginning to read the New Testament that's right. the Old Testament? No, 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 because you've, A, you already said that you've read the Old Testament. I'm yeah. taking you at your word and assuming you're not lying to me. Yeah, so, yeah. so that means you now need to I read the... Well, which, which is why you need to read the, the New Testament, because the New Testament is the paradigm script 
for the Christian. Earlier you just said Christians believe that and they don't disagree, but now you're saying this is wrong, but this is right. No, what? No, no. I, I think maybe you've not followed what I've said. Because what I've said is that you should read the New Testament. Every Muslim should read the New Testament, genuinely. Not just what Zakia Naik says about the New Testament or what Ali Dawa says about the New Testament or Muhammad Hijab. Se secondly, what I said was, I'm saying to you factually that Muhammad is a false prophet because he prophesizes falsely. He makes a prophecy that Islam is going to split into 72 sects. By every definition of the word sect, there is more than 72. Which means Muhammad just spoke something that was wrong. No, no, but I believe Muhammad actually done Christians a favor. Yeah, He did. And, he gave a false prophecy Christians that we can also, attack Muhammad with. Christians also done him a favor because who gave the Medina, for example, the first land of Muslims, who gave it to the Muslims? Medina, Medina was, was something... a ruler who was Christian. No, that's not so, true. No, it was. Yes. Medina, are we talking about the city, the, the city of the Prophet? When, are we talking about said, the city of the Prophet, Medina, or are you talking about somewhere else? No, no, we're talking about the city of the Prophet. Which is Medina. Yeah, and the Prophet told the... Uh, um, the, the Muslims to, to basically run away from. They were invited Mecca. by Jews, no, no, the, and then they went. Jews. And they, 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 they were invited by Jews, and then they went on to the take Habas. that territory. And the Habas were Christians, and they drew. He read the verse of Mary. Why would he read the verse of Mary, Maryam, yeah, in the Quran yeah. to the to the um, king over there? I think so. The king drew a line between the Muslims yeah. and the Christians, and he said that there is no difference. Of, of, on the other side of this line and this line and he gave us a land and security and to be honest without Christians as Muhammad wouldn't have succeeded. De definitely without Christians Christians Christians, Christians treat no, the so. early Muslims better than the early Muslims no, treat the Christians. But, but this is what I'm trying to That's say, a fact. Yeah, that the two are like neighbors of religion. You but know? then we're not. I know but we're just not, one bro. thing. Just one thing. So for example yeah I believe that God is not a human being. He's not. He, he, doesn't have Trinity and this and that. So when I walk past the church, for example, yeah, I could either be looking at the glass half full, half empty, for example, yeah. So I can either walk past, say, you know what, there is no praise going to be accepted in this church. God will not accept any praise, for example, yeah. Or I could walk past thinking God will accept some praise in this church. You know, so there's two ways of thinking. You can think po positive, yeah. or you can be negative. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So you looking at Islam, you can choose to be positive or you can choose to be negative. Well, so let me, let, let me address a point. Let me address that point. Because, I mean, the, again, you, we just seem to be jumping from one point to another point. I'm there's no, there's no, there's, there, to, doesn't, to there, there's not, to think, you there, know what? we've gone from talking about a Will false, pro well, wait, bro, 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 I listen to you without interrupting. Yeah. Okay. Remember, if you would talk over me and I talk yeah, over yeah. you, I eventually shout and I'll out shout louder than you. So in terms of, we, we, we've gone from talking about a false prophecy, if you stay there, we'll talk to you. Um, we'll, we, we've gone from talking about a false prophecy by Muhammad that demonstrates that Islam is false to, um, you know, we can have a positive or a negative attitude towards Islam. Let me explain to you why, as a Christian, I have a negative attitude towards Islam. Doesn't mean that I have a negative attitude towards every Muslim. Though, I definitely have a negative attitude towards some Muslims. ISIS are motherfuckers. ISIS are motherfuckers. I have a negative attitude towards ISIS. You are not a motherfucker. I have no negative attitude towards you. I think me and you could, we could go to a cafe, we could have a drink and we could even become friends. Right? I don't go past every mosque thinking to myself, damn, you know, I want to burn it down. I go, I, I do want every mosque to become a church, but I want that to be a voluntary thing. I want it to be a voluntary thing, not a thing by force. But, but I, don't, I don't have a hatred in my heart for Muslims. Okay, but, but let me explain why I've got a hatred in my heart for Islam. Firstly, because Christianity doesn't teach that I have to love every idea. It only teaches that I have to love every person. I can hate ideas and shitty ideas deserve to be hated. Islam teaches that Christians will be made second class citizens in an Islamic state. I think I've got good reason to hate such a teaching. Chris, Islam teaches Though you're better than what Islam teaches, Islam teaches that a Christian should be killed if they leave Islam. I think I have every reason to hate that teaching. Christian, Islam teaches that I can't marry a Muslim woman, but you can marry a Christian one. I have a right to hate that teaching. Christ, Muhammad, Muhammad, by his example, desecrated the religious artifacts of other people 
and his earliest followers went on to do the same through 1400 years of Christian history, church after church after church. So I have a right to hate this religion without hating the people. I believe that Islam today, the mic has been given to the majority of people who are in the, on the wrong path, I believe. They are not, you know, the real Islam. You know, or not, their Islam is not completed. The Ali Dawahs of this world. No, I don't, let's not bring names because... No, I'm asking you. Know, you. Ali Dawah, I've spoken to him. Yeah. He's a good person, a knowledgeable person. Just to let you know, I've only said I condemn Ali Dawah because you said he, he called for the killing of Christians. You'll see. You Can we do a that, cut, a slice? I do condemn we, we do him. You know? This is a part of our religion. There's a reason to it. Yeah, there's a reason why there's a capital punishment because people like you, little weaklings who leave their religion and cause uh, corruption in the land by spreading it, the capital punishment in Islamic law would be applied to you. We have no doubt and we're proud of that. Because he's not a scholar or an, any logical person to give such a fatwa. Yeah, a fatwa means, you know, order. Yeah. You know, where you have to. If you don't but can he repeat that, the fatwas Muslim. of others? Sorry? Can he repeat the fatwas of others? Repeat the fatwas of Yeah, others. so a scholar who has the learning gives the fatwa and then Ali Dawah just repeats that. Well, there's... Because I bet you that's what he's doing. There's a fatwa in, in their books that tells them to kill me when yeah. they see me. So the first people in the queue, it would be me, not you. Do you know what Interesting. I'm so you're, you're from one of those my versions of Islam... In, in, uh, by ISIS to, uh, to, to, um, in 2013. You're Shia? Yeah, nice. I don't like to call myself one. Yeah. Okay. I, I have every reason to believe that this brother I, I is a Shia. killed because of his belief. My, my condolences. And, yes, and if you pay attention to the videos of ex executions of ISIS, yeah. they are actually quoting from books at the bottom. As they are executing, they are quoting what the fatwa of, that allowed them you know, to do this action. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. And, and they've the, got fatwas to kill Shias, to yeah. kill um, non-believers, to kill, you know, and they say that... that um, their repentance is not accepted and so on. But can I point out that as a Shia, I'm guessing you're a Shia now, okay? And feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm taking a guess that you're a Shia. The, 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 the biggest Shia civilization that we have today is in Iran. And Iran also kills Christians who leave Islam. Apostasy well, like is illegal. Said, okay, is apostasy so illegal so in the Iran? Same way. Wait, no, no. Okay, okay. Is apostasy illegal in Iran? And is it executionable by death? Execution or by death. Yeah, so if a Muslim okay. becomes a Christian in Iran, will the state execute them? I'm not sure. I'm telling I'm you, sure. is it a fact that they do? But in Iraq, where I live, we don't. No, we that's fine. That's yeah. fine, but, uh, Amer but let's be honest, Iraq is currently under the occupation of the Americans. So you're kind of more living by American law than by Sharia law. No, no, but Iraq is a mixture of all religions. You know, uh, the, uh, of which the Christians yeah. and the Yazidis have been incredible. And, and don't get me wrong, I know ISIS yeah. also persecuted Shia. And, and, and let's acknowledge that. Yeah. But, but the Christians and the Yazidis were suffering from discrimination and persecution even before ISIS. Okay, so you're talking about the Ottomans, for example. That would be one example. In Bulgaria. Uh, no, no, no I'm, talking, I'm talking about the Christians in Iraq. Okay, I understand, but this is, this is, okay, so the way I look at it is, yeah, that Islam is perfect and a lot of Muslims are pathetic. That's the way I look at it because, you know, looking at history and looking at even politics, Saudi Arabia, they are selling these books that are brainwashing the Muslims to become extreme. Do you, do you, Saudi Arabia are funding them. Yep, the, yep, the, we all agree, I agree. Reason. Saudi Arabia, the regime in Saudi Arabia should be toppled. Saudi Arabia is empowered and given security. Yep, by the Americans. By, by Americans and England. Yes, absolutely. So it's you guys who are letting them have the power. Sorry, to... let's be clear, let's be clear. Yeah? Not, no, not, not you guys. I'm saying politics. I have nothing to do with the British government in what it's doing. I'm, I'm Christians. We're Christians. Bro, 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 bro. We're Christians. We Christians are opposed to the regime in Saudi Arabia. We want the regime in Saudi Arabia to fall every bit as much as you do. Yes, and but we also, does, but just, fall, just, just for fairness, just fairness, time. just for fairness, yeah. we also want the Ayatollahs in Iran to fall as well. Yeah. Just so we're all clear about where we stand. I'm against the Ayatollahs in Iran and I'm against the, 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 the Wahhabis in Saudi Arabia. Okay, so I'm against them both. Why? Because yeah. of Ecclesiam Contra Mundum, the church against the world. 
church. Okay, so the church against the world. Yes. But that's, this is what I'm trying to say in the beginning. Yeah? What, does Christianity allow others to have their religion? Yes. He said yes. Does, does it allow as much as Islam does? Yeah. Because for me, honestly, yeah, you're allowed to have your belief. I'm allowed to have my belief. One second. Okay. But I can't yeah. overpower the mosque and say, you know what? This this land here is Muslim. No more churches allowed. That, I believe that's wrong. I believe Muslims. Yeah, that would be un Islamic. Churches. That would be un Islamic to do that. Ad, ad, as a Muslim and Shia, I believe that we should protect the churches. But, but, and, and, and don't any, get me wrong. In, in any Islamic country. So, so let, 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 I mean, and, and, and again, let's be clear. Like, you know, it, the Iranian government, for instance, is very, um, has been a, a good supporter of Armenian Christians. Yeah. You know, and as, as, for instance, funded the churches of the Armenian church and god willing the armenian church will once again come alive and begin to evangelize but there are the, the christian community is not just the armenian church the, the the christians who are proselytizing in iran are being executed by the iranian regime you know and, and do you condemn that do you condemn the actions of the iranian government that that leads to the death of christians then then you are a, you're a good man me and you could definitely get along like I said to you, yeah. Right, now, now hold on Islam, one second. Islam is a religion of peace. Does Muhammad teach yeah. apostasy? Does Muhammad teach? Because th here's the crux of the matter. There's no doubt that you are a man of good conscience. Everything you say leads me to believe that. Yes. But I have to then conclude that you're actually better than Muhammad. Which but Muhammad are you speaking about? The, the only Muhammad I've ever been introduced to, the one that says that if you leave the religion of Islam, you should be executed. That, that Muhammad. So you're, okay, you're saying this is in the Quran? This is in the Hadith. Hadith? Yeah. Who wrote this Hadith? Uh, it was in Sahih al-Bukhari's Hadith. I, I condemn, I, not condemn, but I reject the Hadith. Okay, I fair enough. I reject the whole book as well, yeah. Do you reject all Hadiths or just the no, Hadith of Sahih al-Bukhari? Sahih al-Bukhari, maybe for me, 60% is correct. Yeah. 40% is wrong. Okay. So I, I, would, I, would, I would definitely say that is wrong because the Prophet was a peaceful man. He would never call for the killing of Christians. Yep. We, he had even neighbors and, and he was a loving man, honestly. Yep. If you really get to know who the Prophet Muhammad is, yep. not through looking at Sahih Muslim or Bukhari or even people, yep. you know? You have to actually go through history and see, you know, the, 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 the teachings, the real teachings that the Prophet Muhammad has taught to Muslims. Yep. Because us, we do give charity. We do yeah. help the poor. Yeah. So, we do help the orphans. So, so let me let me come to this because the, again, these are, this is another reason why I reject Islam. I think that Christianity is better because we've already identified that in Islam there are Sharias, plural, not a Sharia singular. That therefore that Sharias are man-made, not divinely given. We've also identified that Muslims themselves have no agreement upon which hadiths to believe in. If you believe in Imam Bukhari's hadiths, you agree with the apostasy laws. If, as this brother, you don't agree with Imam Bukhari's hadith, you don't agree with the apostasy laws. One second, where, where is Christians? Where is Christians are unan in unanimous agreement about the 27 books of the New Testament, which is what, what I'm asking you to read, what I'm asking all of you to read. We're in complete 100% agreement about the 27 books of the New Testament while Muslims are fighting and killing one another based upon their different interpretations of Islam because of the Hadith. Because of the Hadith. Can I just say one thing, yeah? The thing is with Shias, and being Shia, you, you, you won't see a lot of this, yeah? So if I go up to, for example, speaking to a, a Sunni brother, I know that the Sunni brother has heard some sort of rumors about Shia. So now if I come up to Christians, I know you guys have heard some rumors about Islam. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I no, no, not rumors, these are what Sunnis are saying. No, no. But I'm saying these, these are aren't rumors. rumors. So Based upon I'm not hadith. Saying better or, or worse. I'm saying Sunnis are my brothers yep. in, in faith and my brothers in religion. Yep. But there are certain hadiths that I have to condemn. I condemn the, the hadith that, you yep. know, for example, that the Prophet married Emmanuel. Yep. I, I believe that's, that's totally wrong. Okay, so, so yeah. here's. here's so here's, so here's here's the thing in terms of because because I, I, you but the thing is both Sunni and Shia believe in the Quran yes. which means that if there are problems with the Quran there's problems regardless of whether you're Sunni or Shia now the one of the claims of Islam one of the claims of the Quran is that it is a perfect book of clear guidance 
and that it is inimitable in its beauty. Now, the thing is, uh, and, and forgive me because I was playing chess earlier in this debate. Some of you probably weren't here. But me and you talked about a verse in the Quran where it says, we do not worship that which you worship, or we do not worship that what you worship, and you don't worship what we worship. So it's a, it's a hadith, it's a, yeah, it's a hadith from the Quran that you recognize, right? It's not, it's not hadith, it's a... Uh, well, it's a, hadith means a saying, and the, the, the Quran describes itself as hadith. It describes itself as reliable sayings or reliable hadith. Yeah, yeah but I wouldn't say, you know... Let's not get caught up on a technicality. Whatever you want to call it. Okay, okay. okay. Whatever we want to call it. All right, okay. Read the same verse, so, so yeah, 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 yeah. So here's here's my problem, is because this book is describing Allah in a way that that doesn't befit His glory. Uh, let's have a look. Where is it? Let Let's have a look. Uh, is it in Surah 109? Sorry, that's. Um, where is the hadith? Sorry, where is the Quranic statement where it says we don't worship what you worship and you don't worship what we worship? It's in. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, which surah, sir? What? Do you know what number? Thought it was earlier than one one six. How many surahs are there in the Quran? 114. Anyway, what is the question, sir? So, yeah, 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 I'm going I'm to come to it. I just want to... 106. Is it 106 or 109? 106. So let them worship Allah the Lord. How have you seen that? 109. 109. 109. What, 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 109, what, uh, ah, there we go. So, ayah 2, I worship not that which you worship, or not what you worship, nor will you worship that which I worship, or not what I worship. You see, this is why I have to shout. Notice how, notice how calm I've been talking the whole time. If he continues to interrupt, I then have to shout. Okay, now here's the thing, I, I find this, that Allah is describing himself in quite a, 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 a disrespectful way. Because to describe someone with the word what or which is diminutive. It's how we describe objects. It's not how we describe a person. When we're describing a person, we describe... Uh, 100, 106. Which word is he describing? The word in the Arabic... The, the word in the Arabic... Yeah. I worship that which, uh, not that which you worship. I do not worship what you worship. Yeah, what? That, that is the description of a thing, not a person. If it's a, if it's a person, you say who? Or whom? I do not worship what you worship. Yes, is not the way you describe a person. So, so what, how would you describe a non-believer in God? I would say that they're well, a non-believer, or I would use who or whom. I wouldn't just or he or he, or you're she. It basically, on the on the on the English language and, and the translation. So, so well, am I wrong? How would you say? How would you? How would you say what in Arabic? Ma. Ma. Yeah. And 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 in in the Quran, is it is it using that word? There you go. What? And, 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 and it's, it's, it's like so it's using it is using what in Arabic, isn't it? So of, but it's not as well. Right. So, but the point is, the point is, if the Quran, if the Quran is meant to be this um, this beautiful book, then it describes God catastrophically, because it is saying it is describing Allah as a thing. Do you think it is appropriate to talk about Allah in that way? If I was to do that. If I was but to describe Allah philosophy. as a thing, I, did you just like read this now and make this philosophy? Uh, no. no, 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 no. So you've, I got this from an Arabic speaker. I know, but did you actually study this? A, and say no, this, a Christian Arabic speaker pointed yeah. this out. 
Okay, and he said, why is God... She, actually. She, she, okay. she said it. Okay, she said, why is God describing himself in this way? Yeah, it's a fair question, isn't it? Well, I, I don't see anything wrong with it. So you're, you're okay with describing God with language that describes things, not persons? No, no, no. I don't understand the Quran in, in English, but I do understand it in Arabic. And yeah. The way it, it descends, it's, it's, it's put in front of me in Arabic. Yeah. The way it rhymes, the way everything is, is there. Yeah. It's totally different to English. But we, we agree, I do, Mark. I do feel sorry for a lot of people who, even Muslims themselves, that can't speak Arabic. That demand that we speak Arabic when we criticize the Quran. Yeah, I know, I know, but you don't speak Arabic. Can you? Neither do many of the Muslims that are defending the Quran. Yeah, but the Bible, most of it is in English today, isn't it? Like, the, 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 the Bible is translatable, yes, because yeah. the message is translatable. But I'm saying you can, the, the rhyme of the Quran is so perfect yeah. that you cannot translate it. Well, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Because yeah. because what what I what I'm saying is that the, the, if I was if I do yeah. If that was the case, Muslims would be pray in the translation of English rather than reading the actual verses in Arabic. Which I agree, Arabization, Arabization is a terrible thing and, and we've acknowledged that Arabization is an essential no, no, part of Islam. The, the, the God says in the Quran, we have, we have revealed yes. the book to you in Arabic so you may become wiser. Exactly, you know? so, so, so Arabic, Arabic, yeah. uh, Islam is part, that's another reason why I reject Islam, by the way, is because of Arabization. Yeah. You know, you know as in, I don't know if you're ethnically um, Syrian or whether you are ethnically Arab. Okay, so fair enough. This this criticism doesn't apply to you, but but the uh, no no they're not the the, the Assyrian the Assyrian people who were the original inhabitants of Iraq and 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 that whole area they 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 were Christian. And as Islam came to dominate Iraq, Iraq Arabized. It had a sophisticated Assyrian culture long before Islam. They had their own language, their own culture, their own beliefs, their own identity. As Islam dominated, it Arabized. But here's the thing. What I am saying to you, I am accusing the Quran of having a, 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 a less than perfect description of God. Because the Quran is saying, what you worship, I do not worship. And what I worship, you do not worship. Yes, the what, true, though, the right? one second, the what, isn't it right? shouldn't it say who? Which, which sounds better to your ears? Yeah. Which sounds better? What you worship, I do not worship, and what I worship, you do not worship. Or who you worship, I do not worship, and whom I worship, you do not worship. Which is more accurate to speak of Allah. I what you worship is basically the whole of the religion. Because, for example, yeah? You worship the religion? For me, Allah is, is, is someone who is not, cannot, is, is not beget or begotten. Yeah? Allah subhanahu, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God is, 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 is before all things, nothing can be said before him. He's after all things, nothing can be said after him. Him. Yeah. So to me, to me, God is already Allah. Yeah. The book, the God of of, of, of everyone. But when we're speaking, when God is speaking here about the non-believers, obviously the non-believers don't believe in Him. So whatever they worship in is, is not Him. For, for me to say, you know. In yeah. The way that but we said. worship. We, we Christians worship a who, not a what. No, no, but, but, so it's, and, you know, if... It's basically saying, I do not um, worship it in, in what you worship. The Quran, the, Quran, the Quran makes a statement that if all the world gathered together, if all the jinn and all mankind gathered together and they had, they had all the trees as pens and all the all oceans as ink, they couldn't write an ayah like unto the Quran. I, I, I am saying, I am saying, I am saying, one second, I am, I am saying, I am saying that we can improve the Quran. We can improve the Quran by changing the word ma, which is what, to what's the Arabic word for who? What? Ma. Ma. Ma is the same word for who and for what. You do know that I have access to Arabic speakers that I can check everything in English. You can say lima, which means to you. Yeah. Or ma, which means what. Okay, and I'm asking what is the Arabic word for who, not the Arabic word for what. Lima, lima. So we can improve the Quran. We can make the Quran better by changing this verse to say that who you worship, we do not worship, and whom we worship, you do not worship. Because currently, what the Quran is saying, currently what the Quran is saying, is what you worship, we do not worship, and what we worship is not what you worship. So, sec they are, so Allah is describing himself as a thing. He's describing himself as a thing, a what, not a who.
you don't have no tools for learning. Um, you see, Jesus, peace be upon him. Yeah. yeah. Um, he didn't. He, have, have he did have a mother, biological mother, yeah. and a biological father. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus had a, a biological. Mask is a question. You, you use it for the camera. You use it, bro. Sorry. What is Adam to you guys without a father and a mother? What, sorry? What is Adam to you guys without a father and a mother? A, a, a creation of, of God. So why is Jesus not a creation of God to you? Because Jesus created the humanity that he took on to himself. He created that humanity. So you're saying Jesus and Jesus, ex and Jesus existed. No, you're not listening. Jesus took on to himself, the Logos took on to himself a humanity. The Logos was there from eternity past. He didn't come into existence. There's no point at which Jesus begins to exist. He was always there. That's what we believe. That's what we this, believe in. This is what I believe in. I believe that God. Sorry, excuse me. It's a point you You believe you believe in me. You don't have no. I believe that God is the command. You don't have no tools to speak about this. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. They're called Arab Christians. So what? Most Muslims don't know Arabic. No, no. He actually he was talking first. You're the one being rude. No, hold on. You're the one being rude. He was talking first. You're the one being rude. Just wait patiently. Let me. I'm going to finish this conversation with him. No, you don't have any tools. You don't know what you're talking about. No. Yeah, Arabization. I said Arabization. Why, are, why am I lying? Why am I lying? The Assyrians were Arabized. The Copts were Arabized. The Nubians were Arabized. The Berbers were Arabized. They were all Arabized. The Palestinians were Arabized. The, 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 the Pakistanis were Arabized. The, the Afghans were Arabized. The Indonesians were Arabized. So go on, you say. I think he's decided that your conversation is finished. No, don't decide. I'm gonna go let him five minutes. Yeah, let, he's going in five minutes. He's going in five minutes. Let him finish. Let him finish. Like you mean like the Muslims do in the park all the time? You mean like the Muslims do in the park all the time? You mean like the Muslims do in the park all the time? Like Ali Dawa and Mohammed Hijab and Shamsi. They go around talking about Christianity ignorantly all the time. But you never criticize them, do you? You never go up to them and criticize them. Go on. You're crying in Arabic. Go on. Yeah, I'm going to speak to him afterwards. I'm going, I'm going to talk to you afterwards. Let me let me just finish this conversation. Let, let, let me just finish this conversation with you. I'm trying to. I'm trying because he ran away. Last week I tried to have it. Wait, wait, wait. He ran away last week. He ran away last week. Oh, oh, wait. No, we don't. No, we don't. You, know, you, you, mean, like, you mean like you guys interrupting right now this conversation? You asked me, can you have an intellectual conversation with Mansour? I tried to have a conversation last week with Mansour and he interrupted. Go on, go. Just, just wait five minutes, bro. Five minutes, bro. Do you agree with this guy's manners? Do you, do you agree with what he's doing right now? Can't you condemn something that's wrong? Can't you condemn them? And why do I, why, why do I shout? Why do I shout? Yeah, because Islam is worthy of attack. Go on. We've had a respectful conversation. Yeah, we've had a very respectful we have. conversation. Yeah. Yes. And thank you for not, you know, crossing no lines or saying, you know, like not, not this, disrespecting. You know what I'm saying? Um, just one point I wanted to make. Yeah, is that God in the Quran describes Jesus. The microphone's there. Yeah, God Talk the to the Quran, microphone. So, yeah. God in the Quran describes Jesus as an example of Adam. Yeah. He said, I created him from dust, I told him to be, and he became. Yes. So this is the test that I believe God is testing the Christians. And I think it's a, it's a bad test. Yeah, but you know the test already, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know this verse. I know this verse. Yeah, of course. Just for the ones, yeah. you know, like you said, that haven't had it. Um, so let's say, for example, God created Adam from dust, he told him to be and he became. Yes. Now God created Jesus in the same way, he told him to be and he became. You know, as a miracle of God. Yes. That whatever God tells to be, becomes. So I believe that God wants to test the Christians to see if you're going to be tricked, you know, into, you know, believing that Jesus is God rather than he's the miracle of God. Because if God is able to create the whole world in five days, and he's able to create Adam, yes? 
he's surely able like, to create I Jesus. Do you agree with that? No, I don't agree with you. And I think it's a bad test. The, the, the reason why I think it's a bad test is because you keep assuming that Jesus was created. We Christians don't believe that Jesus was created. We believe that Jesus is uncreated. That he has always, that, that there was never a point where he came into existence. That he has always existed. Why? Because he's divine. That's what we believe. So what, 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 I, what I would suggest to you, what, 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 what I would suggest to you is that, what, 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 no, I believe Islam is the deception. No, no, for example, am I not deceiving myself, for example, yeah? If I say, you know what, Adam... You did promise this guy five minutes. No, no, Adam is God, let's say, for example. If I said Adam is God, yeah. because he doesn't have a father or a mother... But that isn't why we say that Jesus is God. See, that's again, you, you, you're making, you're, you're imbibing things about the Christian faith that are not true. We, wait, let's be clear, 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 let's be clear. We Christians don't believe that Jesus is God just because he doesn't have a father. That is not what we believe. The Quran is just wrong again. The Quran is making a wrong statement because the Quran is wrong. Yeah. So, so in terms of what we believe, we believe that the, the Logos is eternal. It was never created. Because God can't be created. I know, but when Jesus came into existence, did he just descend in the body that he was already in? Or did he come he, as he, de he descended and created in the flesh of Mary the body that he would have for himself. The, no, no. The, the flesh was created because obviously all things material have to be created. We, we both agree on this. And you said when, God, when Jesus was on earth, he was, when he was in flesh, basically, he was, you know, in flesh, everyone has to worship God. Basically. Yes, yes. So, when Jesus came to earth, was he God on earth? According to what you just said, he wasn't. No, you, again, you, 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 either you, you've not paid attention to what I'm saying, or you just keep trying to... Li listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. The Logos was not created. The Logos created for himself a human nature that he took to himself, a, a, a body, a tabernacle. He, he as, as a human being, a full human being, he has to do what all human beings do, which is to glorify God. That is the point. Yes, he was a God as a human being. One, one second, let me just deal with this bro. So He was God as a human being, yes. Yes, yes, here, yes, yes. Anyway, it's nice talking to you. Have a read of that book. Get, all, get yourself, have you got a copy of the New Testament? Have you got a New Testament? No. Let me, let me give you one of the books from the New Testament. You can shove it in that pocket, it'll fit nicely. There's, there's your starter for 10. Thank you. It was a really respectful conversation. Let's see if we can repeat it with this guy. Okay, but yeah. Please, yeah. We'll talk. Try to stay respectful. Well, as you can see, if people are respectful. Prophets or anything like if, that. If people are respectful, I can be respectful. Yeah. I'm just saying, try not to curse prophets, this and that, in respect for other religions, you know? So, so in, 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 let, me just, let me just reply to that, because then I'm going to go to this guy. The Bible says Muhammad is accursed. It's very clear about that. Muhammad is accursed of God. He's, it is in the Bible. Yeah, yeah I, gave you, I gave you a copy of the new, I gave you a copy of one of the Gospels. I'll show you in the Bible where it says that Muhammad is accursed. Muhammad, it's a word, Muhammad. No, it doesn't say the word Muhammad. No, no, no. You're right. You're quite right. It doesn't, it doesn't say the word Muhammad. It says anyone who preaches another gospel apart from this, even an apostle or an angel of light, is accursed. A it's not a Okay. Off the, off the top of my head, I don't know. We'll put it on the video. We'll put it on the video. Okay. But yeah, that, that's what it says. According to the teachings, yeah, of the Shia of Ali ibn Talib, Ali said to Shia, do not become a home, said Baba, do not become people who curse others. So it's the wrong teachings. You cannot teach your child to, to curse Muhammad or curse Muslims. Can you see what I'm saying? No, not cur no, cursing Muhammad is not the same as cursing Muslims. No, no, but this is what I'm trying to say. It's wrong. As, as a human being, it's wrong to curse any, anyone. No, I disagree. I disagree. A false prophet is accursed and can be called a curse. Because we're Christians, we're not Muslims. We don't agree with your, those values. I understand that. I'm, I'm with you. Anyway, anyway, let me just speak to this bro, because we promised him five minutes. God bless.